Hi guys, Shopping Sunday is back. The shops are open again and we are going to TK Maxx. I obviously have on my mask, so as before, apologies if it's muffled in parts, um, but you know, it is what it is. Let's go and see what they've got. I kinda love these. These are six pounds. I saw this one from a distance which I really like, but I think actually I really like this one. This is like half of me and half of Ella. I love the um, joggers and I think Ella would really, really like this. And I think both are $14.99. <laughs> I mean, I love the pink one actually. I, this one drew me in. The pink one though. I've really, really struggled to find um, like little dungarees that I think will suit me because I'm quite short-waisted. And I don't like, I don't want, you know, I want a high waist dungaree. These are different than any others that I've ever seen. Are these terrible or not? I don't know. I don't even know. Are oh, they extra small? God damn. I don't know what size that'd be, but it's definitely not extra small. I forgot about the thing in TK Maxx. I'm I was looking in the wrong size. You know, I love a little container. This is like, how gorgeous is this? Like you would just design an entire nursery around this. Also, I'm buying some weights because Lee said it's almost impossible to buy weights since lockdown. These are only small, they're only five pounds, but they are 10 pounds for the two five pound weights, which seems like a good deal. Rugs. I just ordered a rug for the office. Office, dressing room. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Um, I like these though. Ralph Lauren rugs, I mean. I'm actually thinking I want a little um, poof thing for the dressing room as well. Dressing room or office? Are we gonna call it a cloffice, a closet office? Um, it's all pretentious regardless, uh, but I thought a little, this is the noisiest thing to carry. Anyway, I thought I might get a little footstool for the closet office, um, both to sit on, but also to stand on because there's some stuff on high shelves that I can't reach because I'm small. Um, and these are all very nice. I really like that little cream one up there. Ah, more baskets of dreams. And clearance rugs. I'm all about layering a rug. I'm not sure about the blue, but I really like the pattern of this one. These look so soft. Let me find out how much they are. $29.99 and they're all polyester. Ah, oh, this makes me so mad that we basically decorated the entire house when TK Maxx and Home Sense were closed because... <laughs> There's so many things I want now. I love these. I basically like lamps that look like they belong in hotels. Love that. Really kind of am into this, although I don't know where I would put it. And this is really unusual too. How cool is this? 40 pound clearance and it's like a stacking situation. I don't know if you buy them separately though. Yes, they're selling them separately, which makes it a less good deal. I was actually thinking of getting something like this for the um, dressing room office. This, I swear, we need to find a different word for this um, because it's gonna be also the spare room room dressing room office and like a little click clack safer thing like this would be really good garden swing it's a garden swing i have no idea how much the garden swing is but i really want it and all the garden stuff all the garden stuff i could have been buying this whole time oh my god look at this giant pot that is 40 pounds that is an amazing deal oh man i should never have come here honestly i'm never gonna have any money they've got an entire aisle of plant stands. $29.99 for that size of mirror is actually a really good price. I'd like a mirror like that that's like an outdoor mirror though. Cute. This is $9.99 and it would go so well in our dining area, I think. So what this? My mom is really into elephants. I think she'd really like this. Although this is somehow scented. It's got something in there that makes it scented. We've got more little elephants. Oh, look at this one's got a little big plant in it. The candle section. I'm actually not even gonna go here because it's a completely pointless exercise trying to smell a candle through a mask. I've been thinking of getting Manny something like this, like a mattress for the floor rather than a dog bed, but this is too big for him really. I want something more like this size, but they don't really have like a style I like. We've got tons of La Creuset stuff. I kind of love this. Um, and one of the things is this, which I actually nearly bought full price. It's 30 pounds full price and it's 7 99 Now I don't actually think we need a utensil holder, but Good deal. Every time I come to TK Maxx or Home Sense, I'm like, I am gonna buy 100% of a serving thing, serving platter. This is actually really nice. This is just like a terrazzo style chopping board thing. I like that, but I want something like this. I've just never found one that I am completely in love with for the price, I suppose, is the main thing. How cool are these? I decided that I would start collecting glasses that they didn't all have to match 
because we've got so many glasses. Oh, I love this too. This little kind of like beaded edge. This this stuff reminds me of The Little Mermaid. What's that all about? How bougie would that be for like a bowl of nuts at a party? So I thought I'd try and find some, um, ooh, maybe this, some coffee to try. I feel like this would be really good. Um, but also I thought maybe they will have a coffee grinder. I feel like if they were gonna have one, it would be here, right? I'm not seeing it. I really like this. I've got a box that's made of this kind of like inlay in a black and white that would go really, really nicely with this. 19.99. Love this. 150 pounds. Bit pricey, but I like it. Ooh, but I like this one more. I mean, would you still use this as a drinks cart? This feels like a drinks cart, like you would walk around a party serving drinks from this. Can you tell that I miss social settings? I feel like everything is $149.99 in TK Maxx, but this is really, really nice. How cute are these? I wish these were actually in my size. So someone told me they'd seen Pericone MD in TK Maxx, and here we are. So I was talking about how I really liked the moisturizer, but it was really expensive, and they said, look out for it, because occasionally you find some stuff. So I'm looking to see if there are any gems. I don't think so. Not for me, anyway. Uh, nothing that I'm kind of looking for right now. Also, I don't know if like my ears have got closer together or if I've lost weight on my face or what's going on, but this mask does not want to stay on my face today. I miss trying things on. I miss trying on sunglasses in TK Maxx. Like, like these are amazing. I love these sunglasses. I feel like they should be mine, but I also feel like I shouldn't try them on. So they've actually got someone um, like manning the area where the sunglasses are. And as soon as someone's tried something on, they take them and they sanitize them and they put them back. So, in case you were wondering, these Anastasia palettes are a pretty good deal. They've also got quite a lot of like bare minerals and stuff around here. Also freedom, remember freedom? One last little look through the random clearance section and then I'm going. Well, first time back to the shops was successful. I'll show you what I got when I get back to the car, but I need to go to Marks and Spencer first um, to pick up some other bits and pieces. I do also need to figure out how to tighten this because it's definitely got slack. So any suggestions, welcome. I am in a curtsy car today and it's not the most conducive with putting something somewhere to film. I mean, okay, if I move that, can we make this work? This is very tenuous. Uh, let me show you what I bought from Marks and Spencer first and then I'll show you what I got from TK Maxx. Um, I do not normally shop at Marks and Spencer for our regular food. I'm trying to kind of kill time waiting for them to be done with my car. I don't want to go home and then them call me, it's a whole thing. So um, I got some things, like some snacky things for now and some things for later. I got this, I'm starving. Chili and coriander, king prawns. I thought this was better than stopping at McDonald's. Um, I also got myself a Red Bull, which I have not had a Red Bull in the longest time. Weaning myself off very, very sugary drinks with things that will also equally probably kill me. We'll see. Um, I needed some paprika, so I got some smoked paprika. This is fancy. I'm pretty sure this is a glass jar. They have three different kinds of paprika. It's not just paprika. It's, oh no. It's, I was going to say, it's Marks and Spencer paprika, and then I've just realised this is not perfectly sealed, and it has got onto the white jumper that I bought. Excellent. Um, the fanciest, most bougie vegetables in the world. I got some pesto, because I like chicken and pesto pasta. I got some um, chicken thigh fillets, which is basically just boneless thighs. I'm the only one, well, Milo likes them too. I like chicken thighs. I like the dark meat. Milo likes chicken thighs. Um, they're a lot cheaper. So if you go to buy a lot of chicken, they're a lot cheaper. These were £2.75. I mean, I think it was £1.25 if you had the bone-in ones. So, but £2.75 in Marks and Spencer terms for six chicken thighs, I think is pretty good. Um, and I just think it's the tastiest meat. That is what she said. Okay, TK Maxx. I bought this beautiful mug. I've seen this a few times when I've been in TK Maxx. Um, and it was 2 dollars and I was like, yes, I think I need to have that. I did buy the white jumper, which I've now got some paprika on, so, you know. Much like all of my clothes, it has to be covered in food. I kind of love it. Also, I am absolutely red hot right now, sitting in the car in the sun. It was so cold in TK Maxx, because they have, obviously they have the windows, uh, the doors open, sorry. It's, you know, understandable, but it was really cold, so they really got me, because as I was walking around, I was like, I think I need that jumper. I am quite cold. I also got the jumper for Ella. I don't know if she'll like it. It's hard with teenagers. 
I feel like two months ago she would have really enjoyed this and so I'll, I'm gonna give this to her it's got like a little croppy thing I'm gonna give this to her and it will be a complete roll of the dice you just don't know one minute to the next what they're actually going to like um I also got a couple of tea towels a couple of sets of tea towels ours keep going missing these are my favorites I got a couple like this before Christmas and they're really thick they're like um I can't get into this one the same as I can with this on the inside they're like a toweling and then on the outside they've got like that tea towel like dishcloth kind of I like them I like them um I got two different kinds of coffee I got this one and I got this which reminds me of um a different one that I get from what is it called the one that it reminds me of I don't know but it's like super compressed so I don't know what's going to go on with this how messy this is going to be when I open it wish me luck but both are basically this is a dark roast this is an actual espresso so we'll see and I also got these I don't know if this is going to be the same oh these are individually wrapped it's not what I intended so they used to do in TK Maxx and I think I've maybe seen it once or twice in um, Morrison's can you see my wiry gray hairs I've got so many more now um, this like, oh, it's delicious. I don't like original licorice. Licorice. I can never say that word. I want to say licorice. Licorice. Um, but I do like strawberry licorice and they had this one. It was really, really chewy. Just super delicious. So I thought this kind of looked like it might be similar. Anyway, that's everything that I got because while I was in there, Lee called me and I said, would these dumbbell things or these, whatever, these weights be any good? And he said, no. So I didn't buy them and that is the end of that story anyway that's everything i got first shopping sunday shop with me sunday maybe next week i'll be primark oh, i really was super tempted to go to uh primark day one i was super tempted um i knew i was gonna have time to kill but i didn't want to go home and then i just thought it can wait i don't know i'm pro i'll probably go in the next week or so I specifically want to look for like some nice summer dresses and some just like chill new season um stuff but i don't know how are you feeling about shopping that was fine i feel like if you're going to a retail outlet like this like um, a retail park it isn't quite so stuffy because you go in you know as soon as you leave the shop you can take off your mask if you're feeling like uh i hate this um, and you're in the fresh air. I think when you go into places like Meadow Hall, Trafford Centre, that kind of thing, you feel extra enclosed. You feel more like claustrophobic because if you're not having a great time, if you're like, oh, I'm really not feeling this, there's like crowds, people aren't socially distancing. I'm just, uh, it feels like so many more steps to get actually outside into the world. Um, so I felt like this was a good, a good first step. There is also a math line up there. I'm not going to go there because the home wearing math line is amazing and no. So instead, I'm going to go and sit outside Milo's school and hang out for a little bit. I brought my Switch, time killer, um, and eat my little snacks that I've bought. And fingers crossed, they'll call me to get my car. They'll probably call me to get my car as soon as I get home with the kids. And I'm like, it's probably going to be later. And then they'll call me. Anyway. Also, it's an automatic. and I've never dr driven an automatic before, which has been weird um but anyway anyway thank you for joining me if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe hopefully we will be back every sunday with another shop with me and i will see you guys then bye